All right. Jalo, I'm Yasharala. Before we go into this lesson, this one. Why I call my beard. Anyways, we give our honor, our glory, and our praises to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Baha Sham, Raka Kodash. Great that we're honored to see the apostles and prophets and elders of James God with the Lord's great medicine for the bring for the 100% truth and be currently edified on that. Today's lesson is going to be dealing with this particular video, which I'm going to show you all here now. Of course, as usual, he might be a jig, but he looks more like a hamite, but who knows, going to the spirit, he might be just saying. But this person here in particular seemed to, um, how to put it? seem to want to make a song of her speaking in tongues of course not understanding what what tongues mean so let me get into the video and then we will get into the lesson right it's a beautiful day got my bible i'm ready to go what if i tell you that we can have a rap yeah. song that all we say in that song is just tongues like we don't know what we are saying boy in tongues now before we go for that here he said like we don't know what we are saying boy in tongues so you don't know what you're saying but you're still speaking in that in that particular whatever that is that even a language i don't even think speaking the way christians have their beliefs of speaking in tongues i don't believe it's a language but if it is someone can correct me on that but as far as I see, he made himself clear. We don't know what we are saying, but in tongues. Regardless, we are still going to be speaking in tongues to make our rap music so that we can listen to. This is exactly what he's saying, right? Let's continue. So, so, so let, let, let me rap in the Holy Ghost so they can know what I'm saying. Chris, being a... He want to rap in the Holy Ghost, not understanding what the Holy Spirit is as well. Is I think that should be a topic another day that, that way you can sp spread it out a little bit you know what yeah that's exactly what will happen Let's right. just spoilers ahead you might fall under the anointing <laughs> okay when i tell you when i tell you these people are very lost he doesn't even look like I, i've been 100 percent. he doesn't even look like a jake but we know jakes are scattered amongst all people and all nations so I, I'm not going to be the one to judge that I did the idea. But by the spirit, uh, the, the spirit is telling me that he's not. I'm being honest with you. But anyways. Oh. Uh, yeah. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Fresh is a pania varasco parate. Kebabravado sisalina paraduseca. Even Esau is confused. <laughs> You know you have it bad when the enemy himself. <laughs> it's just as confused as a Jake, which are um are the children of Israel. Just as confused hearing another heathen um using the scriptures as usual to suit their narratives or to appease whatever they want to as we as we clearly see from time to time let's continue this should have been i mean this is a lesson but we get the point <laughs> oh my gosh if this didn't wake me up i don't know what will left but hey right so clearly we could see according to what is shown here right <laughs> so like uh, it just it was just too funny i couldn't catch myself um so just just to show you just to see what is shown here um it's clear as possible that he doesn't know what tongues really mean so we will go into it and expound upon that a little bit right um when you go into we can go into now because of this when you go into if i come out of this first chapter 14 and verse 1 it says all right 
follow after charity and desire after desire spiritual gifts but rather that ye may profit ye may prophesy right and that spiritual gifts is referring to when they go into corinthians chapter first corinthians chapter 12 and i believe yeah coming down really and truly which we could really grab from um i would say dealing with it it says i'll grab from eight from eight to ten just to make it more clear it says for one is given but for one is given by the spirit of the word of wisdom and another by the word of knowledge by uh, um, by the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit to another the gift of healing by the same spirit and to another work working of miracles to another prophecy it says at uh, um to an to another this earning of the spirit to another diverse kinds of tongues to another interpretation of tongues which when you go into definition of the word tongues it's only referring to what we could grab here hold on all right i think I, this wasn't oh up here has two of them it doesn't matter same thing um <coughs> When you go into the pronunciation, Strong's G eleven hundred, Glossa, Glossa. Which, when you go into the outline of biblical usage, it says tongues, a member of the body, an organ of speech, which we know is directly dealing with the tongue itself in our mouths. But then, when you go into the second part, which is a tongue and point A, the language or dialect used by a particular people distinct from that of the other nations so you are seeing that it's talking about languages different kinds of languages because we know that the children of israel were scattered amongst all nations or all people meaning that many of them that were not no longer on our um no, no, on our mainland dealing with israel or um we would take up other languages through being born in, in certain areas like example i know a jake who came across that is my uncle um he went across there um, i believe in in um, venezuela and now he speaks spanish and i believe two other languages from just being across there it's that simple a different language tongues it doesn't say that if you're going to receive the <laughs> it doesn't say you're going to receive the spirit to be speaking some barbarian language that no one here could comprehend and as <laughs> I mean it in the best way and not being disrespectful, but at times when I laugh, I'm not trying to laugh at him in a sense of being prideful or whatsoever, but it just actually was funny. And I couldn't contain myself, so so lucky I felt like, but let's continue. Right? When you go back, we will go back into first Corinthians chapter 14. And first verse one, deal with the prophecies of superior gifts or tongues and prophecies to be exact, dealing with the title, right? So let me, read, let me start over from um, from the first um, verse. Follow after charity and desire after and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may prophesy. And when you're going to and, and when you're going to the LT, it's as simple as it is. Let love be your highest goal. But but you should also desire the special abilities of the spirit, um, the spirit the special abilities that um, the spirit gives you, especially the ability to prophesy. When understanding, uh, concerning the King James version, it's better if we are able to prophesy with it. So when they go into the second one, it says. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto the Most High. For no man understandeth him. Howbeit in the Spirit he speaketh mysteries. 
Now, they think that because I don't know if this is the reason why they decide to bring about their own language with no definition to these words and be speaking these vain babblings. Because um, when you go into um, the next particular video, which was this. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? What does that mean? And I have, I did go onto the comment section, and there are even people asking, "What does it mean?" And the the um, I would say the um, the what's it called? The person, the um, the person in charge of the 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 channel, or let's just say the yeah, or the video who created the video, the creator to be exact didn't respond so clearly he must have known that he's in error at this point in time but anyways let's continue it says but he that prophesied speaketh unto men to the to edification and exhortation and comfort that's why the scripture says but rather that ye may prophesy right it says he had speaketh in an unknown. So like he that speaketh in an unknown tongue edified himself, which is indeed correct. It says, but he that prophesied edified the church. And when you go into five, it says, I would that ye all speak with tongues, but rather that ye prophesy. Now, before we continue reading, let's get that definition again. Because we want to make sure that the definition that is given in these two is indeed the same. Which, when you go into it, the exact same word. Strong's G, 1100. Glossa. And the Glossa. exact same definition. So, I'm yet confused as to why these religions and christians practice these um how to, uh, this off doctrine it has nothing to do with the scriptures it's not biblical but let's move on let's continue because let, let me finish it off let, let me continue it right right it says i would that ye all speak with tongues but rather that he prophesied which we said from the beginning right when you go for it, it says for Greater is he that prophesied than he that speaketh with tongues, except he interpret that the church may be edified. It's as simple as that. You rather have an interpreter so that the church would be edified. The people that are amongst you would have understanding. Because I would not know or be able to comprehend you if you are speaking in another language. Or even being able to break it down correctly in another language, I still wouldn't be able to comprehend that unless somebody breaks it down for me or explains. Like now coming into the truth, not knowing what Kal Halalia Yahawa Bahasham Yahawashai means. Now I do. Because guess what? We have brothers of the GMS camp and like minded brothers speaking with like minded truth to teach us and to break things down. Allowing you to know what it means. Which is Yahweh dealing with the title, the, the actual name of the Most High. And, his, and the name and the definition of it means He is and He exists. As Yahweh Shai, the Son, or as He said, as we know as the Messiah. Our Savior, the Savior of Yasharala, which directly means... He is, he saves, he is salvation. Which is the proper name in the Lasharan Kadash, the Holy Tongue. So with that we get understanding. See, that's what, it's, that, that's what it means. By being able to break it down, interpret it. If I hadn't had an interpreter, somebody to help me understand it, guess what? 
I would have still be in the unknown. So right now, of what you guys are saying, I am in the unknown. Because I'm yet to have or hear anyone interpret what you guys are saying. Which is why I said from the beginning, if what you speak here is a language, please, I don't mind. I would, I would really want to know because I don't see it as being a language. The guy specifically said in the video that we don't know what we are saying, but we are speaking it in tongues. And this is why the shocking truth, Christianity doesn't teach the Bible. It uses the Bible out of context to teach Christianity. Because the tongues that they refer to isn't biblical. Let's continue. <clears throat> it says, now brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, with, an, with another language, what shall, what shall I profit you? Except, yeah, what shall I profit you? Select so like Right. It says, what shall I profit you? Except I shall speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge or by prophesying or by doctrine. It's as simple as that. And verse 7, and even, th and, and even things without life-giving songs, whether pipe or harp, except they give a distinction <clears throat> in the songs. How shall it be known what is piped or harped? It says, for, for if the trumpet give an uncertain song, um, who shall prepare him to the battle? Which I can give a proper example to that. Back then we had watchmen watching and um, watching where we reside. And if there's any incoming danger, guess what? They would blow the, 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 um, the ram's horn or the, um, the ram's horn basically. But hear what I'm saying. Right? If they are custom blowing out the ram's horn at a certain length, at a certain time. And I just say in this, eh, just an example. If it is, we back then there, being watched by these people on, on towers, or by just saying something, get an example. And there's a and 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 the and the person who are watching blow the horn and they just hear boop. How are we to respond to that? We would not know what's going on. It's the exact same thing with speaking in that other language, not in that barbarian. Nonsense that has no definition, have no meaning what you're, what you're speaking of. It's as clear as possible. So, so likewise, ye accept ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood. Are you hearing this? How can I understand what you're saying, sir? It's not a real language, sir, as far as I could see. How shall it be known what is spoken if ye shall speak into the air? Meaning, enter empty space. It says, there are, there are, it may be so many kinds of voices in the world and none of them is without signification. And when you go further, it says, so like, I'll just scratch my nose. All right. I good. That's all. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. All right. And when you go for an 11, it says, um, if I know not the meaning of the voice, I shall, I shall be unto him that speaketh a barbarian. And he that speaketh shall be a barbarian unto me. Meaning, you will have no understanding of each other. Oh my gosh, my nose. So like, yeah, let me just get this up to me. Oh gosh. Right. And it goes on to say, 
right it goes on to say in, in, in verse 12 it says even <clears throat> it says even so ye for as much as ye are zealous of spiritual gifts seek that ye may excel to the edifying of the church it's more important and that but that word Speaking that you all doing is not a language. If it is, again, correct me. I'll take my correction. But if, if it's not a language, bro, why are you speaking it? It's unfruitful. It's not biblical. But let's continue. <clears throat> it says, Wherefore, let him that speak in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. It says, for I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, but, but my understanding is unfruitful. As clear as possible. So you, my friend, need to step back and think of what you are doing before you do it. Because you claim to, for that to be the, um, the holy tongue or the holy speaking... From the from the whole from the Holy Spirit, but you are in error because the Lasha one Kadash, the holy tongue, the ancient or paleo Hebrews are that language. Oh sorry, sorry for um my grandma. Is that language? It's that simple. <clears throat> so that is why I'd be saying. I always bring on this particular precept because for some reason it, 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 it is match up with every lesson I do with these people. Which scripture says to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, that is because there's no light in them. No light in them whatsoever. There was a particular precept I was looking for. If I could find it to, to add with this, that would be nice. No, it's not this one. This one over here. No. Um. If I can find it, it is where it is. Um. Find it. All right. Anyways, and that is what the scriptures say. If he happens to be a Jacob, I'm just saying it. Then the scriptures was. Then this is why the scripture says. You have a zeal. You have a zeal for the Most High, but not according to knowledge. Roughly paraphrasing, of course, because clearly you wouldn't be saying or speaking in this weird. Um, Sort of a blabbering um, language, if it's a language, anyways, because if it's not, it's not speaking in tongues. It's y'all just making up shit. You understand what I'm saying? It's y'all just making up shit. That has nothing to do with the pro language can put into Zephaniah chapter 3 and 9. You're literally just making up nonsense at this point. All right. So I hope this lesson was indeed edifying. Um, I could do a part two tape because there's more precept, but the boy getting sleepy, I ain't gonna lie. So Jalawa mi Ashurala, Kal Halali mi Hawa, Bahasham mi Hawa Shai, Bahasham mi Kakwadash. Again, we give double honesty, apostles and prophets and elders of GMS campus and as great mills to for the bring for the hundred percent should have been critically edified under. And I'm just saying this as it is. Let this be as a red flag and a warning to you. If you hear people speaking in this language, you know they are not in the truth. You have to know that at this point in time. They are not in the truth. They are not in the truth. I repeat, they are not in the truth. Stay away from them. The only thing they could do is lead you astray or lead you away from your Hawabashim Yahushai. 
right? These are not people to be um, befriending. You could have whoever friends you message, not to be befriending and being around or being amongst. The scriptures talk about being around thy brethren, being around the people that are in the truth to, to keep you in the truth, within the truth. Roughly paraphrasing, of course, I will get a precept for that one of these days again. So, this is what it is. All right? Don't waste your time with these religions. They are nothing but literally creating their own stumbling blocks. They are literally creating their own stumbling blocks to stay away from your Bashem. Why? Because they are the wicked. That's it. If he happens to be a Jake, because we know Jakes were scattered, then guess what? You have a zeal for your for your Harbor now according to knowledge. It's that simple. So again. I hope this lesson was indeed edifying and shall one.